push to the end of the year, we're getting back out of the testing mode and back into some of the proofs and justifying statements. So this worksheet is a review to help you uh, recognize what is given so you can kind of get your proofs started. And there's no proof lines here, it's just talking about what's given. And so I'm gonna talk through some of these. You're gonna do these in class probably as well, but this is for if you miss or need extra help. So segment CB bisects angle ABY. Okay, so a couple things you can do to help yourself out is since CB touches two, we wanna make sure that we mark which angle we're talking about. So angle ABY and that means those two things are congruent. So the directions say write a con so mark your givens we did, write a congruent statement based on the givens. So the congruent statement would be angle ABC is congruent to angle YBC. And the reason is definition of angle bisector. Angle bisector cuts, any kind of bisector cuts something in half. And just as a side note, on this picture, if you were thinking about triangle congruence, you could also say CB is congruent to CB by a reflexive property. That would be an additional. So like if you were doing a proof here, you'd already have a side and an angle. You'd need one other side. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, GF bisects EM. So this is a segment bisector. So there is GF right there, and where that goes to, it's going to divide segment EM into congruent segments. So I'm going to write that. Segment EF, notice I'm putting the segment sign. It's congruent to segment FM, and the reason is definition of a segment bisector. Your teacher might just let you write bisector as well. Uh, so there's a segment bisector. And so that would say further, if you were looking to conclude here, F is the midpoint of EM because of that information that's there. Given V is the midpoint of segment XD. Again, I'm going to use the highlighter to help emphasize a little bit. There's V. The midpoint cuts this in half. So segment XV is congruent to segment VD definition of midpoint. A midpoint cuts a segment. A midpoint is a bisector. It's just a point that bisects. L is the midpoint of segment MI. And again, you want to make sure that you're marking the correct things congruent. So I'm going to, there's, a, there's a MI. So I want to make sure I mark the right tick marks and there's my midpoint. So that's what's congruent. Don't assume that these are congruent because L, it doesn't say L is the midpoint of the other segment there. So write your statement. ML is congruent to LI by definition of midpoint. The other thing that, that if you were doing a proof that you would see here, and I'm going to add that as X information, is angle N L M is congruent to angle K L I think that's a J and the reasoning for that would be vertical angles congruent so when you look at a picture every time you make some kind of a mark you can uh, go ahead and highlight or write it write a statement that goes with it okay LK is parallel to EF. So there's LK, there's EF. And when I have parallel lines, I'm thinking of my special angles. So one direction would be going, if this was the transversal, and so we have the Z right here, which means alternate interior angles congruent. So there's two different sets of angles that we can say are congruent. This transversal, we would say angle K is congruent to angle F. We can use one letter because it's all by itself out here. And then if we're talking about this transversal, angle L is congruent to angle E. 
and they're both the same. We make the Z here. This is alternate interior angles. If you would extend this and extend this, you'd see that alternate interior angles congruent. And the reason is that the additional reason that you might see here is angle L J K is congruent to angle E J F because vertical angles congruent or vertical angle theorem. So lots of angles congruent. We just need one side to finish that off. Segment VT bisects angle RK, RTU. Again, RTU and our bisector is segment right here. So these two angles are congruent. Angle RTV is congruent to angle UTV. And that is the definition of an angle bisector. It cuts an angle to two congruent angles. Uh, also miscellaneous reason, segment TV is congruent to segment TV by reflexive. Okay, so that should get you a good start on these problems uh, following a similar pattern for the rest of them.